I recently remodeled a third floor attic space for a client and for heating we installed an HVAC system and one trunk line running the whole knee wall section of the front of the house. That's the only place we could put it. The heat duct hit every single room for heating and cooling except one room on the opposite side of the attic which was a small bathroom. So for that we used a Schluter Dietra Heat floor warming system under the floor tile. Radiant heat is an excellent way to evenly and consistently warm a floor. And with the addition of the spray foam that we did, the insulation, it added just enough supplemental heat to warm this bathroom. Cooling was not an issue for us. The Schluter Dietra Heat is a complete radiant heating system and it integrates a customizable um, heating cables that you basically you can run any way you want with this uncoupling mat. The, the Dietra mat uncoupling um, Matt basically keeps protects the floor from the tile from moving and according to Dietra it basically does this through a geo geometric configuration which allows for in-plane movement and that effectively neutralizes the differential movement and stresses between the wood substrate and the tile and that eliminates the major causes of cracking and delamination on the tiled surface nobody wants a callback for cracked tiles um, the Dietra mat has a wire stud light -like structure. It's evenly spaced and these studs are designed to allow really simple and really easy installation of the heating cables. Additionally, once they're installed, you do not have to cover them with thin set or self-leveling compound and that's significantly going to reduce your installation time and effort. I like that the Dietra heat system um, I like that it provides protection from tile cracking, but it also gives us the flexibility to install the heating cables wherever we desire. You can custom do your patterns and, 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 and get into nooks and crannies wherever you need. So when planning your floor heat, you want to make sure that you don't run under cabinets, appliances, permanent fixtures, vanities, and things like that. The cables are designed to be installed only under tile that you will walk on. And a couple of tips that I picked up along the way, when I measure my bathroom remodels for floor heat, I measure exactly wall to wall and then I deduct my clearances for fixed objects and, and, um, and obstructions and things like that. I stay three inches off the wall, two inches off of vanities and cabinets, six inches away from the plumbing drains, and eight inches away from any heating ducts or uh, baseboard radiators. Uh, as far as my thermostat, I determine that ahead of time when I, and I coordinate that with my electrician. And, and basically, I have them run a dedicated circuit to that location. The Dietra heat uh, system is applicable in both 120 volts and 240 volts uh, options. And you can make, just make sure that you match your circuit to the system that you purchased. Um, here are a couple of thermostat tips that I've also picked up. And, and they're pretty common sense stuff, but I'll share them with you anyway. Uh, you want to locate your thermostat approximately 5 feet off the floor and always on an inside wall, not an exterior wall. Try to avoid placing it near or above heat sources, excessive sunlight, windows, skylights, um, or any heat generating appliances like a towel warmer or something like that. Prior to closing up your walls, I always install a wire pull string from the thermostat box all the way down through a notched uh, 2x4 wall plate, shoe plate. And after, and I just use a little, um, I just tack it down there and I take it out afterwards. And I use that to pull up my floor sensor wires and my thermostat wires. Um, the Dietra mats come in rolls or sheets and they can accommodate different sizes and rooms. They cut easily with a knife or shears and quickly install with thin set. When, um, I always dry fit first and I, I mark with little markers where things go and it just makes insulation easier when everything is fitting. And then I glue them down with a loose thin set mix uh, looser than normal tile, tile setting mix. Um, I always use the flat side of the trowel first to apply it and kind of um, really work it into the wood substrate. It gives a better bond. And afterwards, I just use my notch trowel and I spread the thin set, basically spreading it in the same direction. Um, once that's done, you, um, the thin set's applied, you basically put your mats down, press it down. You can use two rubber floats, whatever you use, just use constant pressure. The goal is to ensure complete and even coverage on that bottom of that mat. Uh, once the mat is down, you can start to put your wire in right away. You can start tiling if you wanted to right away. Um, the wire easily embeds into those Dietra studs and Schluter recommends a three inch spacing of the wire. And that's a distance of three studs. There is now a new standard where you can do a non-standard spacing. And that means you can alternate between three studs and two studs intervals. 
And this practice can be used to increase heat output. For instance, um, uh, you can, when you do it over an uh, uninsulated area or over a concrete grade subfloor or something, in this particular application, you'd most likely, I'd recommend you use the Dietra Heat Duo, which has a thermal break in the, for the floor, and it'll help warm up the, uh, the floor faster. Um, or you can use the, the two, three spacing to eat up more cable, and I did that in this recent remodel. Um, don't go with a four inch spacing because it's just not going to be enough heat. It won't, it, it's not recommended. It doesn't, it, it's just an inconsistent floor surface temperature. It's not going to help you. Um, the minimum tile format that you can use with this Dietrich heat is a two by two tile. So that's important to remember. Um, and also when you're doing your power lead, when you, when you're running it to the junction box, you're going to need to chisel or channel a section in the subfloor in the Dietra mat so that it fits flush and under the tile. You'll also need to do this for your floor sensors and the end of your cable run as well. They'll all need to be recessed, so plan for that. I sometimes use a little router and route stuff out. Um, the uh, Dietra thermostat comes with two sensors and you want to place them in different locations centered between two cable runs, approximately 24 inches into the floor. Um, I like different locations. Try to get them out of the sunlight if you can. The floor sensors can be glued in place with adhesive or hot glue. You want to also avoid touching or overlapping the heating cables. And the heating cables come from the factory already tested, but you will need to test them before, during, and after installation. And this is important to check for any breaks or damage to the cable. And then you can do that with a, 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 an ohm meter and, and check the ohms and resistance, make sure it's correct. I want to share with you guys a couple of tips that I've picked up along the way doing these, um, these systems. You want to make sure you take pictures of the system with the cables in it so that you can use it for future remodeling reference. You don't want to use any staples, metal staples or metal fixings. You definitely don't want to cut the heating wire. Um, and I know I said this before, but you don't want to touch, cross or overlap the heating cables. It will screw up the system and, and cause problems. Also dry fit the mat before you do any thin setting and gluing. Make sure everything works right. You want to avoid damaging the heating cable with trowels and other tools, so make sure it's down and embedded nicely in, the, in, the, in those studs. Uh, you can use tape or uh, glue or hot glue to, to tape down uh, the, hot, the cold leads or the end, the sensors and things like that. Um, I sometimes put a metal um, nail plate at the bottom shoe plate to protect the wires where they go in up the wall. Um, and if you have a run that goes more than 10 feet in a bathroom, you want to make sure you do a jog in the wire or a turn. You can't have 10 feet of run. So guys, Dietra Heat is a great floor warming system and can sometimes be used to supplement on heating bathroom remodels. It sometimes solves problems for me. It's also an excellent upsell and one that people will often say to me later after the fact, I can't believe I waited so long to put in a floor warming system. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment, because we love hearing from you guys, and hit that post notification bell so you know when we post videos. I'll see you next time. Take care.